What's the weirdest thing you've seen happen at a friend's house that they thought was normal? When I was in about first grade, my best friend at the time had a lot of temper tantrums. We were having a sleepover and I fell asleep in her bedroom. In the middle of the night, I woke up in a different bed with her father. I was so confused, but he explained that she had a temper tantrum and her mom went to sleep in her bed with her so they moved me to the guest room. I was young and didn't understand that's not normal that he was sleeping in the same bed as me, just him and me. I told my parents when I went home the next day and they were extremely concerned asking me if he touched me, etc. I was highly confused because my pure innocent mind didn't understand the concept of that lol. Now as an adult I'm like, why didn't they just move me to the other room, why did the dad have to get in bed with me? lol. They're truly good people and nothing happened, but it's weird. More of a date story. Was on a date with a guy who was cooking dinner for me and his dog took a giant horse piss in the living room. I jumped up, a bit panicked, trying to get the guy's attention to what just happened. The guy didn't even look up when he said oh yeah, she does that sometimes and that was it. I asked him if there was a towel and disinfectant I could use to help clean it up and the guy says I'll just throw some Febreze on it after dinner. I suddenly realized the musty smell I noticed earlier wasn't from his cool and rustic cabin being under a canopy of trees, or that the floor in the same location that bowed when you stepped over it was because it was old. Ate dinner at a table that was couple feet away from the dog toilet. Left. Fucking gross. Went with a few friends to one of their family's houses for a birthday party when I was like 15 or 16. We smoked weed, swam, and had a great OLE time. After eating we settled in to watch a horror movie and at some point I looked around me and everyone in that family was sitting in the same crisscross applesauce position and slowly rocking back and forth while watching TV. Definitely not the weirdest thing on this thread by far, but something about it was extremely creepy. They were nice as hell, though. Here's an I was that family story. My godmother, who was practically an aunt, ran a fairly successful daycare out of her home in the 90s. She was a first-generation immigrant to the U.S., whose parents came to the New England area from Ireland. My two younger brothers and I spent a lot of time at her home and I was generally the oldest child there. When I was about eight years old, she started to have me make her her favorite drink. Gin and tonic. She drank these all day, while running her home daycare. At age 8 I knew, how to mix cocktails, that forks were better for stirring than spoons, and that large plastic bottles of gin were cheap and low quality. This went on for years, on pretty much a daily basis, until my family moved out west. My godmother kept her daycare running until she died. I'm sure of health problems relating to alcohol. I was 15 when she passed and I'm in my 30s now. I honestly went most of my life thinking nothing of it until I became a father a couple of years ago. At which point I was like, how the fuck did anyone let her have a daycare? Side note, I drink but would consider myself an average drinker, if not below average. With that being said, I could never stomach the thought of gin and didn't try gin until I was 30. This was because I once licked my finger, early in my daycare bartending career, after a couple of drops of gin splashed on my hand as I was pouring. That plastic half-gallon quality gin was the worst thing I'd ever had in my life and I had no idea how my godmother liked it so much. Complete ruined my taste for gin, at 8. Went to a sleepover at this girl's house and her mom was obsessively taking pictures of us all night. At one point, we were watching a movie and my friend passed out and her mom, I shit you not, pulls out a huge newscast type heavy duty camera and starts recording her daughter sleeping for a solid 5 minutes. I have trouble sleeping and so that night when us kids were in the bedroom to sleep, I was on the floor, just staring at the wall in the dark. I was facing away from the door, laying on my side. I hear the door creak, some footsteps and then the darkness of the room lit with a sudden flash. I got up just in time to see the door close. I know it was her mom taking pics of us. The weirdest part to me is that it was about 3 a.m. when that happened, meaning the girl's mom either had an alarm or just stayed up that late in wait. 
my family were very comfortable and my mom always babysat lots of kids from around the neighborhood. Basically her place was just where the kids hung out. Once there was an emergency with my dad and my mom really needed somebody to watch me overnight and I wound up with one of the families that she babysat for. They were really nice people and I was close friends with their kids obviously because they were at my house every day. It was a new experience though. This was the first time I'd ever seen people living in real poverty. I was kind about it and I didn't say anything, but parts of it were a real shock to me. The toilet didn't work, but they had just continued to use it to the point that it was piled up to the seat. We had to unscrew the light bulb to turn off the lights because the switch would shock you if you touched it. I felt really bad for them. It was just a real eye-opener for me as a kid and it gave me a much better understanding of exactly why my mom babysat and fed all those kids.